All right, Ian, so we got you started here. And uh, first off, how did, how did today go for you? We got to see the ice on your elbows right now. Yeah. What's going on with your elbows? Are your elbows, are, you know, you, you're drilling hard, yeah. wrestling hard. How do you feel right now? I feel good. The ice is just, uh, just making me feel better, so there's nothing wrong. You're not really like a guy that's like a quote unquote grinder, I guess I would say. Do you think less wrestling is better for someone like you, especially you're in your fifth year? Do you think less is better for you right now? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, but I always, I still have to get my, uh, my live matches in, but I like to drill a lot more now. Like when I was a freshman, I just wanted to go live and wrestle live all the time. But now uh, I, I drill more, but my drills, I make my drills kind of harder and I, it's like 80% each guy, so we're fighting each other in drills, trying to simulate wrestling. So your, your wrestling on the mat has been, you know, the first two years it wasn't the greatest, but in your third year, you know, you, you got some riding time points. In your fourth year, you actually won a match at the NCAA with a riding time point that you didn't win the match, but whatever. But, you know, you look at that match, you look at your riding. How much better has your riding gotten in getting off the bottom? How much better have you evolved as a wrestler that way? A uh, lot. I put a lot of focus on uh, riding because I came into college. And from being from Ohio, I didn't even know what riding was. So, yeah, I, I do a lot more riding, and uh, I, I like it, especially now with the four-point near fall. Uh, yeah, riding's a big, big part of wrestling. So, you, I mean, you get off the bottom, too, now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, I had to credit uh, Muster for that, though. Muster, when he was here uh, that year, he really focused. We focused on getting off the bottom, because the year before, I struggled. And my freshman year, I struggled. Uh, in the match, I just remember I never got off bottoms. Freshman year, Max against the Eastern Michigan kid, he rode me. I won the match, but he rode me the whole last period. Almost ripped your shoulders off. Yeah, that was that was like the turning point where I was like, I need to get off bottom. It's terrible. You know, looking at the last the last year, the Rebuto match, I know that everybody that's all everybody wants to talk about. Like, you know, I spent a lot of time with you, obviously, this summer and you know just throughout throughout the year. But um, looking at uh, Looking at uh, when you know how you handled that last year, it seems like it's in the rear view mirror. And people ask me, "How do you feel about it?" It doesn't really seem like you care about it. No, do, you, I, do you care about it? Uh, no, I was I was past that the Sunday after when I was in Jamaica. I didn't even think about that. So yeah, I wasn't. I'm over it. It's in the past. So I, I'm just I'm going forward towards New York. Twenty years from now, is it something that you'll think about? You think? No, I'm not gonna let it. I'm not gonna let it grind my gears. Not gonna let it grind your gears, is that what you said? Yeah. Uh, you know, and looking at okay, so coming back this year, some polls got you number two. Uh, you know, Martinez, he he was the undisputed. He, he smashed everybody last year. You actually had a close match with him, yeah. but you <laughs> tried to tried th throwing. you tried to throw him in the third period. Yeah. And yeah, he I'm gonna go for a win. And you went for yeah. You're only down by a point, I yes. think. If you're yes. down by a point, why go for a throw against a guy like that who's just so his position's so impeccable? And some I'll lose. If I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to win, so I'm not gonna be set up for a one. A loss is a loss. If it's one point or if it's a pin, it's a loss. So I'm gonna try to win. I'm not gonna say, oh, I had a one point match with them. I can beat them, but I didn't. So I'm gonna try and throw them and try and get the win. There's 15 seconds left. Go bigger, go home? Yeah. Go bigger. I like that. Uh, to, you know, talking about how you have done with the things you've done, you know, in the past. Like, you're one of the most exciting guys in the country. People think you're out of shape. They've, asked, they've been like, how can the guy gas the way he gasses? Do you think your output's so high? You're putting so many points on the board. Do you think that that sometimes yeah. leads to a, a rough third period for you, Ian? Yeah. I mean, I can wrestle. A, I can only take three shots, one shot every period. In the third period, have gas and stall. That's not how I wrestle. I'm going to go out there, I'm going to try and score as many points. I know that's what the fans want to see, so I'm going to try and score as many points as I can. So, yeah, I'm going to go as hard as I can for seven minutes or overtime or whatever it is. If it looks like I'm gassing, it's probably because I am, because I, I went so hard. There's so much output. You know, looking at, you know, preparing for the third period, the mat wrestling, if you can kind of clean those things up this year, maybe even learn how to stall. I, I don't think you know how to stall very well. You just well, kind of like gas out and hit the wall, balls, it seems. I, it should be a lot better. Guys going out of bounds, this should benefit me. So. so you think the new rule, you like the new rules? Yeah, like, 
right, as right now, I, I haven't wrestled, I haven't, I don't know all the new rules perfectly, but the way it sounds is if someone's going on bounce, it's going to be a stall fall. So, and I know I just can't be pushing guys, shoving guys out of bounds. I got to wrestle them out of bounds, but if I can incorporate that into my wrestling, it's not going to be. Because then people got to wrestle you. Yeah, they can't run. Can't run. Um, looking at last year, um, I've seen you at times where it seems like you're almost disinterested or you need a break. University of Nationals finals last year. Yeah. What happened in the finals there? You take the guy down with a couple of circus takedowns like you do, and then he gives you a little resistance. Yeah. What happened there? You rolled to your back and got pinned. That's what I saw. Is that what? It, is that what happened? Yeah, I just needed a break. Uh, I went right from Nationals. I went to Jamaica for a week, and then I was back grinding. I just needed a break. It was a long, really long season, especially with our schedule. We traveled. We were making weight back to back weeks and weeks in a row. And I just never really got a break where my body just recovered. And over the summer, I actually didn't do any kind of lifting, any type of, type of wrestling. And I just rested and it felt amazing. So I came back, I was all preseason, I was like wanting to wrestle, wanting to get in the room. And Hill told me, just wait, just wait. You'll have plenty of time to wrestle this year. So, Can you yeah, win right. it this year? Can yeah. you be the guy? Definitely. Obviously, it's the goal, but are you are you interested in it again? Yeah, this, this is my last year. I gotta gotta go out in the bag. Uh, freestyle, you're a pretty dyna dynamic freestyle guy. Right now, you're the you're in the kind of like tweener spot. Um, Seventy kilos is not an Olympic weight. 2016 doesn't look like it's on the table for you or even be possible. I'm sure you're more worried about winning an NCAA title, but through 2020, are you gonna try and do a quad cycle and train? Uh, I don't I don't know yet. Uh, Maybe, but I don't know if I'm a. I might switch from freestyle to Greco. Really? I go the Greco route. Greco. Yeah. What What's the uh, the weight? They have a 75 kilo there. 71 kilo. Would you go 71? Yeah, I'd try to get to 71. And, and, and I gotta. I'm. I'm gotta check their Olympic weights. I don't know if 71 is an Olympic weight, but I'll check. But um, yeah. 70. Obviously, you know James Green was a bronze medalist. Yep. You've actually beaten James in freestyle before. Yep. He's beaten you twice in three. <laughs> But he's beaten you three times in collegiate. Do you think uh, this freestyle favor you? Yeah, I, I like freestyle a lot more. I think it fits my style better. But uh, yeah, I, I think I'm gonna transition to the Greco after after my collegiate year. Okay. What do you? Uh, what matchup do you look for this year? Like as far as 157 punters, Brissetta, They've got you and him flip flopped in some polls two and three. He's an Ohio guy. He was like a, a tiny. He was a small guy. When you guys, you guys were growing up, you're always four or five weight classes ahead of him. Yeah, uh, Martinez. Uh, Martinez. That's Martinez. the one I want. Where you guys could potentially see them in Vegas, right? Is that, is that one that you got marked on the calendar? Yep. All right, man. Well, you got to get out of here. You got anything else for me? No, that's it. Do you like doing things live on the Periscope? Yeah, Periscope. Periscope is sweet. Is it next level? Yeah, I seen you tweet about it last night, so I got it. But, Are you serious? Yeah. Well, oh, I just thought you ignored everything I, was I did. I watching random people in Cleveland in their bedroom. <laughs> Alright Ian, thanks for the time. Yep.